Hey Leos and welcome to your general reading here in November. This is a general and will not resonate with everybody unfortunately but I do personal readings and my email is in the description box as always. If you are coming back to my channel welcome you'll notice the different setup and this is because I have these lovely cards that I want you to be able to see and the new deck is called work your lie oracle deck okay um so i'll start these in the main read and along with that we'll use the legend tarot deck okay and a change this time i feel like people will be drawn to each deck of cards they see so if you are drawn to a deck stay around for the end because i will be turning each of the top cards over to get you those extra messages there okay guys so just if you're drawn to it um any particular card you don't have to focus on it you know just what if one thing is pulling you then there may be a message under that card for you guys okay in the description box you'll find the name of the decks of cards i use and how to contact me so don't worry if you didn't her the name of these decks it'll be in the description box okay guys so let's see what we have for my lovely leos if you're new welcome please subscribe and remember to hit the notification bell okay guys let's see and we have starseed what lights you up leos okay what lights you up you may be a starseed child there as well um like i said um look at the colors on these cards i really wanted you guys to see them clearly here so in this time i feel like you know here if you're on your own or something like that um single even you have time to really think about what it is you want from your life it's you know it can feel like the worst place like being shipwrecked over here um with all these tough emotions going on but i feel like it's a perfect place to think like what do i want for my future what am i seeing in the stars there you know what's to come like if you was to build a whole new world for yourself here what would you have on it you know, it's a great opportunity. Rock bottom is a great place to rebuild yourself from there. So, Leos, let's see what we have. And we have dance with life. Do something to change your energy. And that's just what I was talking about. You know, um, look at this expression in this dance here. Let loose. Do something. I always dance to change my energy and I notice if I'm feeling you know a bit rubbish I'm like I haven't listened to no music or danced in a while so I definitely use I turn on music that I like and use that to do this express myself really and raise my vibration it's okay so if you're feeling like this maybe alone or shipwrecked as i said um do something now to change that okay set your intentions for what you want for the future here okay this is the dance with life okay it's not that we're supposed to sit back and let life happen to us we're supposed to go out there and create our life be co-creators here okay And we have Anna, the grandmother of Jesus, seeding the light, laying foundations, divine plan. Just everything we just said there, right? It's time to lay some new foundations. It's the divine plan that, you know, you got to this point so that you can rebuild and create here, okay? We are co-creators in this world, so it's time to start seeding that light, okay? It seems here that you are a star seed. Start planting for yourself. I did a video for Sagittarius season that we're heading into, and it was called Time to Sow. Time to sow those seeds, okay? Time to plant what you want for the... Look, it looks like a whole new world here as well. Like, would you put, you know, these things closer together? How would you create your new world? because you are a creator, okay? This divine light is within you. Anything you set your mind to, your, your desire, 
Okay, it seems like this water I was speaking of here, you know, this maybe troubled uh, emotions here will be like the foundation, the cornerstone of this new world. We need this water, right? We need water to live in this world. You know, it fertilizes all the land. We drink it. So don't look at this as, you know, a terrible thing. It can be sort of, um, you know, like I said, the lifeline to this new world, these emotions, feel what you're meant to feel here, okay? To let it create this new world. Starseed, it's time to plant. Dance with life here, create with life, do something to change your energy. So, you know, like I said, you can be feeling a bit down, but really do something now you know set your intentions this is how we manifest i have a video on that as well like once we set this desire this intention then we follow through and that leads to the manifestation of what it is you desire okay and what's that uh famous um saying like it's not about avoiding the storm it's about learning to dance in the rain see and we have three of cups okay so good news on the way this is happier times on the way okay this is a coming together of your tribe people you know loved ones celebrations it can even be um births so children or weddings things like this okay um so it seems like good news is on the way for you or a union okay of some sort so Whatever it is you're desiring here, you have this opportunity for it to come to fruition. It's coming together with the three of cups, okay? So it's also about, you know, this holy trinity here. Understanding that, you know, you are divine. You can. You are a star seed here. You can plant these intentions, what you want to grow, and follow through with it. And it will come. Even if it's a soulmate you're trying to call in, um, a job, anything like that. Maybe even a child or a wedding here. The Hierophant. Oh, yeah, a commitment here, a marriage commitment. Okay, so it could be for some of you that you're heading towards or manifesting a committed union here with the Three of Cups, a coming together, okay? Again, a very divine card here, okay? So it's like you're being divinely guided as she's like pointing that way. So you've been sort of led here and poked and pushed. Maybe you had to get to this point of this breakdown to rebuild yourself back up here, okay? That's what this dance with life is, you know? It's not about um, just waiting for this storm to be over. It's about learning to dance in the rain here, as I said. And you are divinely protected and guided here. Could be a Taurus that some of you are dealing with or, you know, married to there. But it could be a very divine commitment on its way, manifesting for you. So let's see, what's this? Six of Swords and it's reversed. So you may feel like, oh, well, you know, seem, things don't seem to be moving forward or coming together for me here. So, you know, it's heavy on your mind here with the Six of Swords reversed. Something that, you know, you're not quite thinking clearly about. You may feel like, well, I put in some intention and, um, you know, like people tell you how to manifest something. They say, set your desire here. But like I say in my video, you also have to follow through here. And that's that dance with life. People are trying to jump from A to C. So you may be wondering, well, I set the intentions. I planted the seeds. I'm doing everything the books say or the videos say. And it doesn't seem to be moving forward. Okay, you've got to follow through with it, okay? We we don't just sit back and wait for things to manifest here. We visualize things like this new world. 
how we would like it to be, but then we take action towards it. We change our energy. We need to be in an energy of joy to actually manifest things. So if you've got things heavy on your mind or feel like things aren't moving forward, there could just be delays because um, Mercury is retrograde while I'm filming this. It goes direct um, November 20th there. So you may face delays on what you've been trying to manifest. So you feel like a bit down that it isn't coming, but it is here, okay? You've just got to keep follow through. Change your energy is the advice there. Eight of swords, yep. Yeah. <laughs> Heavy on your minds, Leo, right? If it's not you, Leo, it could be somebody cross-watching that they can't seem to let go of wanting to get back together or um, the happy times that you shared. But it's just something that's heavy on your mind. You could feel stuck with this. You're not actually stuck. It's an illusion, the Eight of Swords. It's your thoughts. Um, if you do start to think um, negatively while manifesting, that can cause delays, okay? So you may be feeling like, um, oh, well, it didn't you know, come out straight away. And I always say to people, the day you plant the seed is not the day you eat the fruit, okay? So it does take a little bit of time. Okay, it doesn't mean you're stuck or it's not moving forward. It just may seem slow, especially if you're watching it trying to grow. Okay? So you could be feeling um, stuck on somebody or feeling down about, um, you know, it didn't manifest just yet. But it will. It will here, okay? I see it manifesting here in this card. Anna, grandmother of Jesus. Seeding the light and laying the foundation, it's the divine plan, but it also takes time, doesn't it? You know, if you even imagine something so 3D, like building a house, it just takes time laying those bricks. And the plan that the divine has for you also takes time. You know, I feel like here you'll need to learn lessons, you'll need to heal, you need to put action behind it. And so does the other person if it's a divine commitment you're waiting on, okay? If it's a job or something to do with money here, um, with the Hierophant, um, it's the same thing. Don't get negative about it here, okay? There may be delays in moving forward, but it doesn't mean it's never going to come. So don't overthink about it because that's just your thoughts getting better of you and it'll lead to the Nine of Swords and, you know, that's worry about things that are not going to happen. Five of Swords reversed. Okay, so that's better. Okay, um, it's, it is letting me know that, you know, Mercury is in retrograde. The Five of Swords is Mercury and it's in retrograde. So that's why you're facing delays. Can be delays in this person communicating with you or you communicating with them. Something could have come up for them and you feel like, well, no answer is an answer because you don't know what's going on with them. But it could be just that there's things going on in their life that you don't know about because they haven't communicated here. Very poor communication with the Five of Swords reverse, but it's something that, you know, will turn around here. And again, like I said, for me, it's an indication that when Mercury goes direct, okay? So, yeah, it's it's just letting me know there's bad, no communication. So, you're starting to overthink and you feel like, well, no communication is an answer, in some situations it is, okay? But if you both haven't communicated with each other, then you both don't know what's going on with each other here. It seems like um, divine time is needed. You know, this chance for you to rebuild yourself in who you want to be. I know most people don't see it as a positive, but it really is. Seven of Cups. Okay, so um, they could have chose another option and that's why they didn't communicate with you or there could have been a third party situation with the Three of Cups and Seven of Cups. Um, and that's why there's no communication and why you feel like everything's lost here. But 
I'm telling you, there's just some sort of delays about this not moving forward and then these will turn around. You will get forward movement and communication coming in. Um, they could have said some quite tough things for you, to you, um, the last time they communicated with you that left you quite confused and hurt here with the seven of cups because with the three, uh, sorry, the five of swords there, reversed and the seven of cups it can be quite hurtful commu uh, confusing communication um so they could have started this argument with you and you're just like what you know why is this stopped moving forward why is this relationship stopped i'm now in my head here with the eight of swords i'm confused so you, i keep thinking about it and try to think about it from different points of view and different angles here okay you could be um heavily dreaming about them and having conversations with them in your dreams as well there it's like you know it could be um maybe you're feeling a little bit depressed as well um and that's why you need to change your energy you could be feeling depressed if they're not with somebody else um just not with you they you may be depressed and feeling like um you know I'm confused about the situation. I just want to go to sleep here. You know, you may be trying to sleep a lot and not doing much with the Six of Swords reversed. Just like, I'm going to sleep. I'm going to stay home. And you need to change that, okay? Because you're overthinking and feeling, this is my life and this is what it is. So do please change that. Nine of Wands, yeah, so if communication is blocked, we can see that here, like, you're, you could be like, there's no, we're not talking because they blocked me, um, and I always call the Nine of Wands, like, my Garden of Eden, it's like protection, where you can regrow, you know, you're here, you feel like, what, I'm blocked, I'm, nobody's talking to me here, but look what you're being shown, like, you'll grow from this. It's not like that this is over. This nine of wands is like a break period, a chance to um, heal yourself. It's like a time out, but with protection. And I know with the nine, the nine being related to the hermit, it's like, okay, I want to talk to them, but I'm blocked. So I'm on my own here to deal with all this. But if you look at it different with, you know, a new perspective like, okay, I'm in this garden of protection right now um, with this fence around me because that's what the Nine of Wands is like, a fence around you. So it's protection while you heal, I always say about the Nine of Wands. Okay, look, it's a chance to take a rest and look how far you've come on this journey. And yes, this looks rough, this sea. And like I said, there could be a storm here, but dance. Dance, damn it, Leos. <laughs> dance. Some of you could be going out dancing with the Three of Cups, celebrating something. Nine of Cups, okay. It's a chance to um, refill your love for yourself here with um, the Nine of Cups wands and the nine of cups okay you could be wishing for all this to be over and be better but as i said you know you'll learn something from this and it's a time for you to refill your own cup instead of giving all your love away to others it's time for you to receive this love with this nine of cups like i said the nine's been about the hermit and it's about yourself and um loving yourself here Okay, so you're in you're being divinely protected until you love yourself here with the Hierophant and these nines, okay? So like I said, I'm gonna turn over each of these cards here. I don't know what's under them either. I just shuffle and then put them down. First we'll go with the messages from your angels deck. And this is Maya. Okay, Maya is also about illusion, okay? You can research Maya there. It's also about, um, you know, if we were sat in heaven here and with a VR headset on, 
you know, we're living this experience to learn this lesson. So it's sort of like you'll level up sort of thing. Okay, now let's read the card. Schooling, study and education help your life's purpose and personal growth at this time. The angels will guide you and help you with the process. Okay, so you are guided at this time. Can feel like, I don't know, Battlefield. I don't know that song. Um, and this is the Shadow Light Oracle deck. And this is Pink Lotus Fairy. A time for spirit. That's card 43. So four plus three is seven. Again, you may feel like you're feeling this challenging time, but it's time for you to focus on self here. Look how she's meditating and regrowing out of this lotus here. So I definitely feel you should, you know, it's like you're earning your wings here, you know, while going through this spiritual lesson. It's just a time for spirit, okay? It's time to heal your spirit. We have judgment, okay, so divine timing, sorry, this is the Global Art Collaboration 78 Mythical Tarot deck, okay, and this card is judgment here, and this judgment is like all this darkness around you, we know about judgment day, um, it's just like the time's coming, okay, I just feel like hang in there, the time's coming, I know it may all seem dark and depressing here, but the time's coming with judgment there. These are the answers from your angel's deck. Recovery. Okay, so again, look at this. Um, I feel like you guys should be meditating here, studying even, you know, to help your personal growth. Um, so maybe um, meditation will bring you extra answers here, okay? when you're not in communication with somebody, just find time to quiet your mind, especially if you're overthinking with the Eight of Swords. This is a time that you're in recovery and it's, the recovery is just as important, okay? That's why we're divinely protected at this time, to learn to love yourself here. Recovery is very important. I always tell people, rest is as important as the grind. And these are the Akashic, tarot deck will wisdom and mind okay so where there's a will there's a way okay you're beginning a lot of wisdom at this time uh, again with the mind here you know I feel like you can use your mind to you know create here you're a co-creator so set those desires those intentions okay and in this time of you know where you seem feel cut off from the rest of the world with the nine of wands and sat over here by yourself you'll gain a lot of wisdom okay but remember where there's a will there's a way okay these are the goddess deck okay and we have assurance wonderful assurance so be assured there okay look at that as well in her hand like something is growing for you here Okay, and I was talking about the day you plant the seed, you know, is not the day we eat the fruit, but, you know, it will grow. Set your intentions and it will grow. But if you watch it, it'll seem to take forever, okay? These are the Divine Feminine Oracle, and we have Goddess of Self-Knowledge. Okay, the essence of who I am flows effortlessly into everything I create. And again, about um, creating then, again. So allow yourself there to, you know, understand yourself. It's okay with understanding where you're at. So if you are feeling like I'm overthinking or I'm depressed or I'm feeling lonely, um, you know, it's okay to understand where you're at because then you can say, okay, I want to take the next step. And I talked up here about jumping from A to C. If you understand, okay, this is where I'm at, but I, I want to take the next step. I want to be okay. I want to be happy. I understand in life, we're going to face these storms, but you know, life doesn't stop. We learn to dance with it. And the creation will come here and allow that to, you know, effortlessly flow 
you know, this transition here. Well, once you realize we're not jumping from here to here and we take these steps, it will effortlessly flow if you're not waiting. If you understand, okay, there's going to be some time here with the judgment card. It's going to take some time for this to grow, but it's okay. I know it's coming. And once you understand with it's okay being here, it'll effortlessly flow into creation here. This is the universe has your back um, oracle cards. Let's read it. True healing occurs when I give myself permission to feel whatever feelings live below the triggers. Okay, so... Like I was just saying, it often happens. Um, but when you allow yourself to understand I'm here and it's okay, or if it triggers you when I say, you know, somebody isn't talking to you, feel those feelings because they're triggering you. They're trying to let you know, okay, this you're feeling like this or anxious. Your soul's trying to let you know that's what needs healing okay so if you give yourself permission to feel whatever it is you feel when being triggered that's when real healing will occur for you and this is the egyptian oracle deck and it is alchemy and creation again about the creation like we know alchemy is like the magician something manifesting setting your intentions here for what you want to create that's card 28 so let's see the romance angels and it is heart to heart conversations honestly discuss your feelings with each other like i said it seems like there's no communication going on and once we just presume to know what's going on with somebody it just gets a whole lot messier doesn't it you know just to presume okay i know what's happening with you I've told people about spying on people's posts because it doesn't give um, a true, you know, message of what's going on with them. If you're spying on somebody, like I posted some love songs and somebody's like, oh my God, are you heartbroken? Are you hurt? What's happened? I hope you're okay. And I was completely fine. I just enjoyed the song. So somebody could be posting what looks like happy pictures of themselves, but everybody always posts the best pictures of themselves, right? You're not going to post a picture of yourself crying. So conversation is needed to actually understand um, another person. If you haven't had it yet, don't jump to conclusions here. And we have <laughs> justice. Um, so that's card eight. And it says, take the time to review the details carefully. You will win in the end. Fair and objective decisions. So, yeah, I feel like justice is coming for you and you'll understand things the more time goes on. You'll understand why things happened. You'll have hindsight. It's a wonderful thing, isn't it? Um, right now, I feel like it's best for you to accept recovery as a positive thing. Accept this being blocked as a positive thing, as protection while you refill this cup of love for yourself these are only delays but there is a committed relationship coming here okay so don't overthink it just get on to b don't try jump straight to c like oh i'm happy it's here it's created it's in the works here be assured that it's in the works it's growing okay good luck guys